a mother means feelings keep filling your heart. So many emotional moments right from the start. I learned I was pregnant with my first child and I cried. I saw a blip on the sonogram they said was my son and I cried. I felt the miracle of his first kick, the first of so many, so healthy and strong and constantly, including when I was trying to sleep, which of course was now impossible. And I cried. They laid my newborn in my arms after 12 hours of labor, two hours of pushing, and a really painful episiotomy. Look it up if you're not squeamish. And I cried. He said his first words and took his first steps. And I cried. I was pregnant again, and he was so excited to be a big brother. And I cried. He came to the hospital and held the new baby, although he got bored after a few minutes and almost dropped his brother. And I cried. I realized having two children would be even more fulfilling and more beautiful and also more work than having just one, and that was hard enough. And I cried. Being a mother brings on the tears, tears of joy and sadness and hope and gladness and fears. I took them to their first days of school and I cried. I watched my two young sons playing so sweetly together when they weren't fighting, and I cried. All of those ordinary weekday dinners where we bonded as a family, and at least one of them complained that they hated what we were having, and why can't they watch TV on a school night? And I cried. I watched my husband with them in the yard playing their favorite game they called dodgeball in the dark, which involved throwing whatever they could find at each other, and it always ended with someone getting hurt or something getting broken. And I cried. Suddenly they were almost teenagers, and I cried. They stopped hugging me in public or acknowledging my very existence, and I cried. I noticed the first signs of puberty, like getting taller, their voices changing, hair sprouting at strange places, and that teenage body odor which defies any kind of shower gel or antiperspirant. And I cried. I taught them to drive and survived being with teenagers behind the wheel in rush hour traffic, even though it made me a nervous wreck. And I cried when you're a mother. Emotions just flow. Does being Jewish make me even more emotional? I don't know. They discovered their unique talents and gifts, and I cried. I watched David leading the opening tap dance in 42nd Street, the most cheerful musical ever, and I cried. I heard Ben perform his original comedy songs for an audience of his fans who knew every word and sang along, and it made me so proud, but I was also laughing so hard that I cried. They started college and jobs and adult lives, which is what I always wanted for them, but it also made me a little sad, but it was also kind of a relief because I was so exhausted. And I cried. You want them to be independent, yet it breaks your heart when they roam. But don't worry, at least one of them's likely to move back.